For almost 50 years, the United States Department of Defense has dedicated time, personnel, and resources to the sole mission of accounting for those Americans listed as prisoners of war or missing in action. <clears throat> that began with the Central Identification Laboratory in Thailand established to coordinate the recovery of American POWs and MIAs in Southeast Asia. <clears throat> Morphed into the Joint Task Force with detachments, laboratories, lia liaison offices, and other subordinate units given the responsibility of accounting for those missing from all past wars and conflicts. Today, the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency, established in 2015, carries on that mission around the world, devoted to the insurmountable task of accounting for some 83,000 missing Americans. Just this year, DPAA accounted for 87 American service members lost in World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. This was the result of countless hours spent and, and the tireless efforts of the more than 700 Defense Department uniform and civilian personnel that make up the world-class workforce of this organization. Through a partnership that has lasted for decades, the Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States is honored to, honored to work alongside of this great agency in helping to fulfill our nation's promise to bring all of America's missing service members home. Now with a special message for the 122nd National Convention is the man who has been the leader in this organization's effort for more than 10 years, Director of the De Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency, United States Air Force retired Major Kelly McKay. To Commander in Chief Roche, past and present national leaders, Executive Director Lawrence, and distinguished members of the VFW, greetings from Washington, D.C. As always, it's a distinct privilege for me to provide you an update on our nation's worldwide efforts to search for, recover, and identify missing Americans from our past wars. As you've heard me say before, this mission is both a sacred obligation and a moral imperative. But as it has with your great organization and the rest of the nation, the pandemic significantly impacted DPAA. For over a year, none of our teams were per permitted entry, with numerous missions canceled or postponed. But thankfully, more countries are allowing us to return. I'd like to start with an update of our Vietnam War efforts. We were grateful to the government of Vietnam, whose three U.S. trained teams conducted 10 recovery missions on their own when our teams were not permitted entry into Vietnam. Thankfully, we have resumed operations in all three Southeast Asia countries, Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam. For World War II, after their archives were closed due to COVID, Russia allowed three of our researchers to resume their work there recently. Also, there were 388 sailors and Marines who were not identified after recovery from the sunken USS Oklahoma in 1942. Our scientists continue to identify them, and the 344th Sailor and Marine was presented to his family last month. 89% of the USS Oklahoma families now have answers. The last time I spoke to the VFW, I relayed the mixed progress we had had with the 2018 commitment between President Trump and Chairman Kim, which the VFW was very helpful in putting it on the president's radar. From the 55 boxes North Korea gave us, we have identified 74 Americans so far. Unfortunately, North Korea stopped communicating with us back in March of 2019. But our South Korean counterparts started their third year recovery operations in the demilitarized zone and we are looking at a joint mission with them later this year. Distinguished VFW members, two years after World War I, Calvin Coolidge said this, the nation that forgets its defenders will itself be forgotten. Thank you to the VFW for never forgetting. 
Thanks for flying the iconic POW MIA flag over your post and departments. Thank you for the wartime artifacts your members have provided us, which we have turned over and which are deeply appreciated by our host nation partners. And thank you for telling others why your comrades in arms need to come home. Your longstanding commitment at all levels continues to make a real difference. The fact that the United States of America vigorously pursues this sacred mission is the right thing to do. In doing so, we are fulfilling a promise made to those we sent off to combat, your comrades in arms, as well as to their families. This national commitment also serves as a marker to veterans whose comrades are missing and also to those in uniform today that this nation will not leave its warriors behind. May God bless the VFW and your incredibly important mission. And more importantly, may he always bless our great country.